Fence clamps. Did you know there is four things you can do with a set of fence clamps? <laughs> We're gonna explore that right now. So the number one thing for <clears throat> a fence clamp is to build what we call a zero clearance, which is where the, uh, this fence is almost up against this blade. You don't want to damage the fence, so you put a piece of lumber between the fence and that blade. But this piece of lumber needs to be clamped in place. And a clamp, regular set of clamps can get into your work, which you don't want. So this answers that problem and then takes care of it. Puts the clamp up on top, out of the way, while you use this for your zero clearance, which would be bringing it like right up against the, virtually against the blade like that. And that way you can run your pieces through, whatever it is you are after. And I'll even drop that down a little bit, just, just because uh, this is the sort of thing you'd probably be doing with a zero clearance, most likely. Um, so that was fine, but the size of lumber, actually you want it just below the height of the fence. So we're going to have to cut this board down, so we'll be right back. <laughs> I could give you my dimensions, but depending on the height of your fence, you might have a very different situation. But what I did was I took this across the top like this and put it flat against the fence this way, and then took in the curve that's in this piece of uh, metal here and went down past the curve to where I was about two and three quarters of an inch. This is uh, about a three inch high fence, so I actually had to go down a little bit. Like I said, the lumber should be lower than the fence, just by a little bit in order to clear this so you don't get any uh, strange things going on top here. Let's cut it. So, so I cut this down so that, as you can see, it's below the height of the fence. And now I'm gonna drill a pair of uh, 3 8 holes in the center at each end, which this will drop into in order to help hold this and become our, our zero clearance fence. And uh, it's also destructible, so we can sort of like rub up against the blade a little bit when we run the saw, and then we're all set to run our material through. So now that I've cut my, you can see I've cut my lumber down so it's just below the height of the fence because that way it won't interfere with this little 90 degree corner they've got here. So I can get this flat down and set about right on top of that fence like that. So that's one of the reasons why you're you know, a little lower than the actual fence. Don't make it the same height as the fence because actually it's, well, you won't like it. Now, we gotta drill a pair of 3 eighths, I think it's three, three, six, three eighths holes. So after drilling the holes, uh, I brought the piece of wood over and I put it on against my fence. Could have been a little bit longer, I suppose, but that's quite a bit of you know beginning right there where you could uh, run through. Now, obviously, for zero clearance, what we're after, <clears throat> unlock this, and we're we're basically we can come right up against the blade now and lock the fence, and uh, we'll even start it a little bit. Hmm, wow. Pretty cool. All right, and we're gonna bring that down a little bit. Yeah, it's just barely hitting that wood, but it's, you know, the whole, that's the whole idea. It's almost like a sacrificial a little bit. But now if I wanna cut a half of a notch, eighth of an inch up against something like that, I can run it through. Uh, okay, take it down a little bit. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> run it through this way. And I, you know, I'm going to, you know, just take that eighth of an inch across here as deep as I want, that sort of thing. So zero clearance is like, say, it's it's kind of handy, but there's other uh, there's other features here you can do. Now, you could also take a short piece of block, which I can do off of something like this right now. Is that plywood? No, that's, that's fine. I can take a piece, a short piece, put a single hole, and put it back here, and act as a stop block for a setup when I'm doing some kind of cross cut where I'm doing a lot of cross cutting and stuff. Also, you can do some framework. I'm gonna show you a couple pictures first, and just so you can get an idea or see you know, some of the other applications. And then there's one we're gonna talk about, which is, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I think it's controversial, but just my opinion. But you can also do a 90 degree situation with a clamp where you can put two of these in and create a 90 degree clamping type system. Uh, also the blocking, and of course, there's other types of blocking you can do with these. So they're, they're handy. There's a lot of different little functions around the wood shop, you know, that they can be pretty good for. And the other thing that was talked to me about, 
and that's where we're going to get into this. Okay, are you ready for this? This is this is going to scare a lot of people, but uh, say I'm going to actually pull the blade out of the way here for a second, all the way down. Uh, say you're going to run something through like oh, just like that, and you're worried about uh, kickback. You could put a block of wood like that and set this clamp in it, which. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. So you can put a clamp like this onto a block of wood, in this case a 2x4, and you can still go through there with your blade, but you no longer have, let me get that out of the way, see, you no longer can have kickback, I get my blade up a little bit, and like that, or whatever, and you can go through there, and it would be kind of like a, an anti-kickback block. Now, that to me is a little controversial, so I'm going to ask for some comments on that one, but it is an interesting idea. I just don't know if I would, uh, I don't know. I, you know, and I'm, because of the strength of it, I guess it probably would, it would take quite a bit to knock that out of there. If your clamp is really, really tight, God bless, because you know, if it gets loose, then you've got that, 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 everything coming, coming your way. <laughs> I don't know, guys. <laughs> it was something I was shown, and I was like, I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, there's a nice man who sent in uh, six of these kits, and he said, here's the deal. You keep a kit and keep it for life. It's yours to keep. The other five you can give away to the viewers. So that's pretty cool. And they're uh, Miles Craft. They're not the Rockler one. Yeah, the Rockler one's a look is a few more dollars more than these ones. But these are actually, I think they're probably just as, hopefully they're just as good as the uh, Rockler. Anyway. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do finish a draw, and then we're gonna give five of these away to the viewers. Yay! Let's do that. Okay, before I forget, can you, uh, before we get to this next part, can you please click the like button? <laughs> YouTube measures all the creator content by how many people click the like button, not how many people watch it, or anything. honestly, it's just, it's a little bit demented as far as the algorithm goes, but if they see a lot of likes, then they'll share the video a little more and we can get more viewers and yeah, and in turn, that, that really helps the whole channel out because that helps to pay for the stuff we're giving away. There I am. Last week we set up a, a, uh, <clears throat> a door trip for a giveaway with the tickets here and just do a quick review or show it to you at least. I had a devil of a time getting in this pouch. <laughs> but. Yeah, <clears throat> there it is there, and it's a compressor, air compressor, and it's also uh, a jumper for an auto. So it's got two really cool functions, uh, plus a power supply. If you know, as a lithium type system, you can also, you've got USB uh, plugs over here. So it could be used as a power supply for something else that uh, plugs in with a USB, which I have used here in the shop actually for stuff like that. So that's a, you know, it's a pretty cool little item to have around. And I'll also provide a link for the uh, for this in the uh, description below in case anybody's interested in going to have a look at these things. They are a really nice little unit. They can be charged two different ways. And there's a nice uh, nice man purse that comes with them. <laughs> so, hey, who gets this? Oh, let's find out. We need a bucket. We have the bucket, right? Yeah. Uh, sponsor for Lowe's but so we're not doing Lowe's we'll do do it right on the other side of the bucket <laughs> and the tickets and here goes the tickets and boom oh oops we lost somebody already oh man all right so we got all the tickets we'll stir them up there isn't a lot this time there's only uh less than 50 people that put it, their name in for this one so I was kind of surprised but uh if this keeps up, uh, we won't be giving anything away anymore. <laughs> Not at this rate, huh? <laughs> Can't afford it. The, the overhead is just too much over the head. Yeah. Okay, so we'll grab a ticket and we'll see who's got this thing. Who's getting the Adore trip? And Robert in Pearl River, Louisiana. That's not very far from here, I don't think. Well, According to the zip code, it's uh, it's far enough. <laughs> Robert in Pearl River, Louisiana. Okay, Robert, you get yourself a uh, 
yeah, a, a door trip. And congratulations, Robert, and thank you everyone else for entering. Now, next Thursday we got something else, right? So say, hey, hey, hey congratulations, Robert. Now we're gonna move on. <laughs> I'll put that over here. Robert, that will go out today, let's see, Thursday, Friday, probably Monday. It'll probably be on its way to you. In the meantime, we're gonna do five come Thursday, okay? So, yeah. You just saw this uh, set up and in this, yep, the fence clamps for your table saw. So we're gonna do five of these to viewers that want them. And how do you do that? Well, I'll stand over here like I always do over this side. And right here, uh, you'll be emailing to cntrewards at gmx.com. Uh, let's see, in the subject line, Let's just do something really easy. Oh uh, boy. How about just fence? F E N C E. And one entry per household. And we will draw next Thursday for five of these. So five people will receive a fence clamp kit from me and uh, from Miles Craft and from the. Uh, the fellow that donated these didn't want his name or anything or his address, anything, in any information shared, so we got to keep him a secret apparently. So, eh, okay, you know. But uh, yeah, email to crctrewards at gmx.com and uh, just subject line, just fence. And then just your name and address as if you were doing a return on a postal letter. That's all we want. That's it. Don't write any more than that. And we'll make up tickets and we'll draw the tickets and some five luckies lucky people will see if they can get themselves a fence clamp for their uh, table saw and or use the kits for well the other things because they're useful around the wood shop and i guess there is other things i saw that uh they were being used for like the drill press you know stuff like that for holding and making blocking that would hold stuff together so there was like lots of cool ideas with these things and uh hey it's been uh it's about a hundred and whatever it is in here today again, so I'm I'm melting. <laughs> One entry per household, and uh, thank you for watching. Oh, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe. Please like, like, like. Anyway, five of these next Thursday, and uh, what's coming up? Boy, we've got we've got uh, c computer stuff. 3D printer stuff, uh, more table saw stuff, uh, more wood project stuff going on, and a lot of other crazy, uh, strange tools, some odd tools. Yeah, 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 I like the innovative stuff. And I got a lot of other cool things. So hey, hang in there, and hopefully we'll see y'all uh, Monday when we do a review. Ooh, okay. Until then, over and out. <laughs>